Hello, my name's Alan Helmrich. I'm the handicapper at Wentworth Falls Country Club. I'm at the start of our second walk. This walk's a loop walk. It starts at this spot here, comes back to the same spot. It'll take you about an hour and a half. Unfortunately, we're in the mountains, so there's a few steps. But if you've got the constitution, you'll find it has many rewards. The variety is the key feature here. We've got heathland, we've got nice little view, viewing spots, uh, we've got uh, a canyon, uh, which we bypass, of course, we don't go through them, but all in all, it's an excellent walk. Don't forget, it's got steps. This map will show you where we are. The yellow loop shows the nature walk. From Wentworth Falls Country Club, you turn left into Blacksland Road. At the end, turn right into Sinclair Crescent and left onto the highway. Go past Scott Avenue on the right and take the next turn right into West Street. The start is at the junction of West and Bates Street. This is the Heathland. This little plateau leads to a very short detour to Edinburgh Castle Rock on your left at the end. I like this spot. It's a bit like a bus shelter in the bush. To your right at the end you overlook the Valley of the Waters which leads into a series of waterfalls starting with Empress Falls. The Canyoners go through here during the summer season. This is the first crossing of the Valley of the Waters at Williams Glen. If you look upstream to the right, you will see Osmodius Pool, where the canyoners come through on their way to Absail Down Empress Falls. It's amazing what you'll find on this walk. A little pocket of rainforest and another little waterfall. At this junction, take the left turn towards the Conservation Hut. On the way up the steps, stop to enjoy Queen Victoria's lookout. Well, just up here is the end of the walk. The steps make this an intermediate walk. But because of the variety, it's excellent. And I've done it many, many, many times and I never get bored. See you on our next walk.